Hi, welcome everyone yet again to another Ticket Freaks 212. I am your host, Carlos C. And as always, we're here to talk to you about movies. Now, if you're not familiar with the normal video segments I usually do, uh, I usually have a crappier camera, uh, which I get from my laptop. But unfortunately, I've been blessed with uh, with a new camera that I've got as an early Christmas present from my lovely girlfriend, which I like to thank, by the way. And uh, now I get to do video segments on uh, on this camera. So let us begin on today's movie we're going to be talking about. Killing season. Two veterans of the Bosnian War, one American, one Serbian, find their unlikely friendship turn tense with one of them reveal their true intentions. Killing season made in 2013 as an action, drama, and thriller directed by Mark Steven Johnson, screenplay by Evan Daugherty. Cast includes. All right, so let us begin. Where are you going? Hunting. Let me just say this, first of all. I actually rather enjoyed this movie. Uh, I've actually looked up some of the information online on critics, ratings, and so forth on pretty much every information they can gather, and it, it got like a 5.3 out of 10, and I'm rather a little disappointed in that. Uh, I, I Honestly, I think it's just because I, you didn't get a lot of uh, information about this or you didn't hear much about this that you could really not, that you, you couldn't really get into wanting to watch the movie. Okay, so let's get realistic here. Um, let me talk about the positive views on this movie. It was uh, it was actually really fun watching these two men. Robert De Niro, a great actor. Uh, I loved him in, as Al Capone in uh, Untouchables. Um, and we got John Travolta, Grease, Saturday Night Fever, I believe. Uh, he's just a phenomenal actor as all, or entertainer. So these two together going in one-on-one -on -one and going into an action fighting movie, I can get into it. Now Hello? Go back. What the hell was that? Looks like we are not brothers in arms after all, Colonel Ford. What do you want from me? To finish what we started. I actually saw these two go at it and it was great. Uh, John Travolta playing this uh, Serbian. Uh, he actually had the perfect accent. I thought he did a great job doing it. Um, not a lot of people will agree with me, but that's just a personal opinion. I thought he did a great job acting like he was somebody else that he wasn't. Uh, the performance these two gave as in action scenes, fighting scenes, were actually pretty interesting, pretty fun. It was actually a really a unique type of style. It was different. The dialogue was actually rather interesting. The story was pretty intriguing. I came for trophy. You're a hunter like me. Tomorrow you should come with me. We had another hit to your collection. Uh, not a lot of people will agree. I even especially love the ending. Um, it was a bit different than normal endings would wind up with. But I think in the logical sense, um, in, a, in a movie, in a real life situation, that uh, I think it was actually nicely done. So I don't give it any disrespect or any non-credibility. Uh, I don't know why not a lot of, I didn't know why not a lot of people actually watched this movie. I, I didn't know about it until I actually looked it up on my Netflix and I actually looked it up on a poster in Blockbuster. That's, that's when I knew about John Travolta and Robert De Niro in a movie together and they are going to go one-on-one -on -one with each other. I thought, wow, I got to see this movie. And you want a war? Come and get it. And I gave it a shot and I wasn't disappointed, actually. Um... So I, I really don't have any kind of too much negativity towards it. The only thing I have to say that's negative about it is that um, I didn't get to see a lot of Robert ne Robert De Niro in his uh, in his fighting scenes. I got more of John Travolta, which is cool, but I wanted to see more of Robert De Niro uh, being really a really tough, really awesome like fighter and stuff. But I didn't get to see that as much as I was hoping for. Uh, what, what John Travolta did carry it, so I appreciate that. How's it feel to be the one getting tortured? So I ain't got nothing against that. So, all in all, none negativities towards the movie, which is actually pretty good. Uh, if I had to rate it from 1 to 5, I'm going to rate it at a 5, so I would I would pick it. I would actually go and recommend you guys watch it, rent it, maybe not, I don't know about buying it. However, I will say this, um, it does have a little bit of a, it's rated R, so it does have a little bit of foul languages here and there, maybe a little blood, but it's not too bad. So it's a good movie to watch, and I think you'd get intrigued by it. You won't get bored of it. It's actually, if you wanted to watch it and you were expecting a really action-packed movie, this would be the movie to pick. And the story and the dialogue is not terrible, so that's what I have to say about this. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Please subscribe and tell a friend, and I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Peace.